All right, here we go. This is the 90s Revival series. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jer Cards. Rips and hits with Jer Cards. Today we got in front of you guys a 1990-91 Premier Edition Score Hockey. Now this set back in the day was something to be said. First card of Eric Lindros playing with the Oshawa Generals. A wide variety of, of rookie cards. You're going to get Brodeur's only rookie card in this. Um, oh, uh, Kolzig, Olaf Kolzig, a uh, German goaltender. Um, you know, and it's basically for fun. Like this, you know, you get these boxes relatively cheap, though they are becoming more and more popular as we go along. Um, so let's get cracking. Okay. Got my new set. Oh, no, my whole wall is falling over. I've got this whole setup here. Just gonna pull these out. Now you get 36 packs in these bad boys, and they're loaded. I got the old there, so it's kind of, I don't want to wreck the corners and stuff before we even go here. I'm gonna move these out of the way, they're annoying me. Out you go. So here we go, just keep ripping and stripping, ripping and hitting. That's what we're doing here. Hopefully, everyone had a great holidays, great Christmas. My video, my new channel, I'm gonna be firing it up. Hopefully, you guys like it. The more, uh, the more views, the bigger we get. We'll see how we go with it. For me, I'm just doing it like I say for fun. I like to keep collecting fun, so we're doing it's all about fun here. I'm just making a mess. That's always good. Get all this nonsense out of the way. All right, so here we go. Packs. You know, like, this is this is pretty funky. This is like at the, the height of the new. New wave of uh, collecting or the big boom, the junk wax era. But like I said, this is all making a revival right now. As we know, we are in another boom in the industry. Notice it's a plastic pack. You know, well, here we go. So we get the Alf Dolan. Faster to do, to do. Basically, like I say, we're only looking for a few. Uh, there was a good one back in the day. A couple good ones. There you go. You usually find your good stuff in the middle. You know. Right now, they're not. There's Trevor Kidd, Ricky Card, you know, Grant Fuhr, Hall of Famer. You know, this thing is chock full of Hall of Famers. Igor Larionov, Russian Hall of Famer. You know, as you notice, standard red border. These are the bilingual version. So they got the red on the top. If it was the American version, that would be blue. There would be no French on the back. Uh, my feelings on uh, on the uh, all the the new new wave of collecting, you know, it, it's it's good. You know, it's it's good for the hobby. I've watched my collection grow in value, fantastically. So, oh, just keep ripping here. Gotta move this uh, move this along here. We got Vincent Riendo, but like I say, with all the new people coming in, the uh, you know, there's been, you know, a lot of different things. Andrew Castles, Darian Hatcher, Sidor. These are all, oh, there he is, the great one. And the All-Star. They also had the All-Star. They had the regular card, the All-Star, this triple, quadruple exposure type. There was a whole bunch of trophy cards, stuff like that. You know, that's the great one himself. You know, if you, it's always good to have Gretzky cards. But with the new people coming into the hobby, it's, it's got its goods and it's got its bads. You know, the enthusiasm there, which is great. The lack of knowledge and let's say the lack of etiquette <laughs> in some cases. You know, but it all kind of works itself out. You know. Keep it fun. Shouldn't have any problems. Dolan, again, bastard, again. Sergey Makarov, the 30 year old Calder Trophy winner. Ranford, Curry, Jan Eriksson, Terry. So like I say, the big ones here. Oh, oh, Troy Murray, <laughs> Barrasso, Cornell, Matthew Snyder. No bubble gum in these ones. This was like the first year where bubble gum didn't make it into the upper deck nor the score. I'm trying to take it to the next level. I actually like these little garbage bags, bags, but you know, not too probably environmentally friendly. Bernie Nichols, there you go. Paul Coffey, go. Stevie Y, I'll throw Stevie Y in the pile. This might be a long break because of the cards. You know, I'm gonna try to go. Olaf Golzig, there you go. 
There we go. I'm going to throw him up in a plastic. Messier, you're going to get all these Hall of Famers. Ray Bork, look, look at this pack. Today's pack, this would be just a monster pack. Those names in it. You know, overly produced. Ooh, got my trusty penny sleeves. And my... So I throw that at the bottom. In the pile. You know. Aside from the Jagger and the Broder and the Sundin and a few others, it's not much value in this product. It's more for fun. But I enjoy it, so. Figured you guys might too. Let's keep going on here. Hextall, Newendike, Mark Bureau, Turner Stevenson. Do you do? Oh, look at that. There you go. That's the one you're looking for. That's him in all his glory. Martin Broder, right on. So that's pretty cool, right off the hop. I'm sure you get about two or three of these in this box, most likely. You know, these things graded go pretty well. I do have a couple graded in my collection. I also have a whole slew of ungraded. So there you go. Looks pretty nice. That might make its way somewhere sometime soon. Thing there, the base. Doesn't no one cares about the base. You also got to keep your eyes out. From Curtis Joseph, Jeremy Roenick, um, Rob Brindamore, Mark Recchi, I believe, is in here. These guys' cards are just normal cards. They weren't indicated as a star or a draft pick card or whatever. So I don't know why. That's the way it is. This is that was pretty awkward. Get this out of here to get. Robbie Brown. Downtown Robbie Brown. Link Gates. There you go. And Rob Blake. There you go. Rob Blake. Yeah. Hall of Famer. G current GM of the, the Los Angeles Kings. And here's a pretty cool card. That is a Memorial Cup. Oshawa. Number 330, Oshawa beat Kitchener. Oshawa beat Kitchener. There you go. Oh, there's a Modano all rookie team. I'm also going to find his rookie card here. Mr. Modano. Essence, uh, Shell Samuelson, Svoboda, and Joey Koser. Oh, my camera's not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Joey Koser. He was a good fighter. That was about it. He was a scrapper. Scrap of the rapper. Keep ripping. Keep ripping and keep hitting. That's what we're doing. Uh, that's the name of this channel. Hope you guys are enjoying it. A little bit different than breaking the new stuff. I'll break new stuff. I'll break anything really. Brett Hall. Cavallini. Rick Mahar. This pack's pretty. But, hey, not all winners, huh? No. I figured I'd start off with some older stuff. I can have some, uh, probably in future episodes, I'm going to do the hunt for Pavel Datsuk. I've already uh, <laughs> cracked two or three boxes of 0102 Upper Deck Series 2 with no luck. There's Joe Sack's second year. Then Patrick Waugh. I'm going to that little corner there. Let's see, that'd be here. That was one. Oh, and look at that. Super Mario right behind him. Oh. It's not that bad. A little spot of white. Looks worse on my camera shot. That's the way to Stu Barnes, the lawyer. John Morris, whoever that is. Luke Robitaille, nice little card. Paul Coffey. Like, look at the names in this pack. It's just insane, eh? Larry Murphy's a Hall of Famer. There you go. Man. Should be, if not. I know Leaf fans hated him, but... <laughs> he was a pretty good defenseman. Now, this is hockey history, too, is I like to give this stuff to kids sometimes and tell them, tell them about these players. These are players from my youth. I was a little guy when this stuff came out. Turner Stevenson, you'll see a lot of double. Oh, and look at that. That's a good double to have. And a Rod Brenda Mori behind it. Let's have a look at that. That one's pretty good. Oh, looks like it got ran through the ringer. Look at that. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. That's a nice corner, nice centering. 
Too bad. Wow. Boo. Oh, that's what you get. I'll throw it over there. <laughs> that could be a giveaway. I'll keep the Brenda more. That's... Oh, well. It is what it is. I got one. I got a whole bunch. I'll show you guys if you want. <laughs> In another episode. I'm not too worried about it. But it's the first time I've ever seen that. Look at the packs on these backs. So they had some sort of production issue. I'm just ripping random. So maybe we'll get another skid mark carried into this pile. Who knows? Kissio, Linden, second year. Do, 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 do. Now, I might miss stuff, but don't worry about it before I sort this i'll go through it all i got also the hall of famers those gilbert perot Igor larianoff another rookie of him i got like 18 of those if you guys need some larianoffs let me know a whole bunch of upper deck and a whole bunch of score and, you know, i try to have a nice selection of rookie cards on hand uh, i like my rookies do 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 Dave Volick, do 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 Craig Fisher. Let's see if we can avenge that <laughs> that Broder mess, the messy Broder, the skid marked Broder. That's what we'll call it. I'll put it on eBay as a skid marked Broder. I'll show you again. I'll leave it there just for fun. <laughs> it's hard to tell though until I looked at it up close. <laughs> it's just. That's funny. Whatever. That's right here. There you go. You can look at the skid mark. Skid mark Broder. Yeah, this is Rips and Hits with Jerry Carries. Hope you like. You want to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Go right ahead. Uh, you know, I'm going to be doing this on a fairly regular basis. Um, this is all my own boxes, my own money. I'm uh, not doing any of that group breaking. It's wrecky, wrecky group break and I, I don't, yeah it's fun and I'm glad people like it. it's not for me though so everything you see here is coming out of my own pocket I just, you know, I'll make a deal I'm always open so hit me up on Facebook on Twitter on all those channels that uh, you hear if you want I don't care um, Jer cards with the triple Z keep things a little bit different there's a little wainer the damaged box corners are a little white whatever probably won't grade those anyways this was organizing my Gretzky's I don't know how many of those already so like I say all for fun all for fun keep it fun make this pretend it's a hobby this isn't a full-time job I know some guys are trying to make a career out of it but uh, good luck that's all I'm gonna say Ray Bork, Brett Hall. Brett Hall had a big year those years. He was uh, he was on fire. They were just ripping through Bobby Prober, rest in peace. He was a troubled man. It's unfortunate. Do -do 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 -do. I'm trying to rip these faster. I haven't hit a Lindros yet. Eh? That's weird. I don't know if you find one of those by now. Tim Shovel did. Do -do 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 -do. Peter Lappin. Oh, there we go. Stewie Burns. Paul Eisenberg. There you go. He had a few good, couple good years there. Decent years, anyways. Brad McCrimmon. Michelle Petit. John Casey. John Casey. I'm just randomly picking piles here, guys. So I'm going to try to follow where you're going to find the rotors of the Lee Roses. You know, basically, if you want one. You don't want to rip the wax because I got to deal with this pile of base. Um, there you go, Patty. And the Lemieux. See, Patty Lemieux. You notice little coalition issues there, right? Eh? Neil, Neely, Yeisebert, Terry Yake. I remember his name was around back then. Um, you know, if you don't want to deal with the base, go buy them on eBay. Go buy them on your Facebook groups. Buy them wherever you want. Buy them off me. <laughs> you know, if you're into just the collecting the singles, that's fine. Get graded copies. That's what I suggest. A lot of times you can find these graded copies for cheaper than you actually grading them yourself. So it's almost a almost a better way to to go sometimes, you know. Do -do 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 -do. Dougie Gilmore with the the flams, the flames, Calgary Flames, before I got traded to the Leafs. 
not his rookie card. <laughs> the, the list of, uh, of Hall of Famers that do have rookie cards in this, or future Hall of Famers that have rookie cards in this, is it's quite, quite extensive. Yeah, we're just not hitting them right now. Where we are, they're getting skid marked. Skid marked. Of all, you know, they got one card skid marked. It's freaking Martin Broder. Martin Broder. Well, couldn't skid mark uh, Dan Quinn. <laughs> no offense to Dan Quinn. Kevin Stevens, a rookie card. Uh, but, anyways, it's not, not a big deal, like I said. Can't get angry at this stuff. You know, see a lot of guys, see a lot of hate, a lot of anger on Facebook groups and stuff. Just let it be. Have fun. Enjoy. You know, you want to collect low end stuff? Collect the low end stuff. You want to collect high end stuff? Collect the high end. Your budget allows you to play in that market. Have fun. Work your way up the ladder. You know, keep selling stuff low, buying. Higher, a little higher end stuff, and move your way up the ladder. That's kind of what I did. When I got back into collecting uh, hardcore and 03, 04, basically I bought as much Pacific Calder, which I have some coming for nostalgia, uh, as I could get. And I had a real fun time. I had 40 bucks a box, and pulling all this fun stuff I thought was fun. Well, and then I sort of moved my way up, moved my way up, got into some upper deck. Got into this, got into that, and, you know, cup cards came, everything else came. It's the way it was. You move yourself up. There's Curtis Joseph, rookie. Move yourself up the ladder. Hopefully that's not skid marked. The Cujo. Might not be great over that. Ah, that's stuck. Ugh, I don't want to use my fingernail. Yeah, it's got a little bump on the corner. Not a big deal. And so far, you know, this is my little pile of fun little hits there. No Jagger. That's weird, eh? No Jagger. Not yet, anyway. I've still got a couple of packs to go there. We'll find our so was a Yarmir. Do 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 do. Eric Weinrich, decent rookie, I guess. Had a couple good years. You uh, guys probably laugh, but the reason why I bought this box. It's for the oh, there's a Jeremy Roenick. One of my favorite hockey players. Obvious reasons, but also he was a pretty darn good hockey player. People might laugh that I even penny sleeve these, but like I say, I collect everything. High end, low end, up, down, left, right. I have fun. That's that's what I want to pass along. That's my message, if you've noticed. Robbie Blake. I was a rookie. Robbie Blake. Yeah, get that. My pile there is going to fall over. Brad May had a couple good years. There's Castles. You know, I'm not pulling out those All Star cards just because I have so many of them. I don't really need any more. I don't want to have to. I will keep the Gretzkys and the Waz. Maybe. The rest, I don't need them. If you want them, hit me up. Hit me up. Bringing a lot of excitement in my Sunday afternoon break here. Gotta hurry up a bit. This might be a little bit longer than normal just because of the uh, sheer amount of packs. Shovel Day, Brian Mullen, John Morris, Draper, Chris Draper, Jimmy Wade. There was the big guy. Not Dominic Hasek, Jimmy Wade. <laughs> How did that turn out? Hey, you never know. No offense to Jimmy Waite, but sure as heck ain't no Dominic Hasek. That guy was just something else. We got Thomas Steen. A little too much glare on my thing here. Derek Graham. Bullock. There you go, some guy. Stevie Y. There's a Gretzky. Oh no! Well, even if it's a couple cents, I just don't like dinging up cards ever. It's like those uh, time capsule cards from chron Chronology there. Ugh. Cracked a couple of those offline too. <laughs> Let me tell you. And I got two packs. I got two of them. I was like, are you kidding me? 
The only card I didn't want because that means I have to damage a card to see what's underneath it. Suffice to say, I haven't damaged the cards. <laughs> Randy Hillier is a wainer. And our Woski. Little Patrick Roy. You want to be an Aronic. Couple of lots. Camera. Got a new fancy little stand for Christmas to hold my camera, so get used to how that works. And there's my boy Matts. That's a good one. And Olaf in the same pack. Wow. Do you wanna build a snowman? Every time I hear his name, I think of that Frozen movie. If you have kids, especially little girls, I'm sure you know Frozen. As do as I do. Let's put them there for a second. To not have to try to fingernail them off the floor. Normally just slide them off. You can't see it's a little off camera. I didn't have space, but over here I have a little area eventually i'll get a nice mat and everything else make it a little bit more professional looking I gotta start somewhere right guys i figured i'd start rather late in the game but like i said i'm doing this for fun i'm not trying to make a million bucks uh, Patterson, like i say oh, mark racky hall of famer some say why that was a pretty good right winger, but I don't know. You know. Sometimes the Hall of Fame vote is a popularity vote. More so than anything else. He did have quite a good career, though. Makarov is a Richter rookie, USA goalie. I'll see that guy up after. Jeff Hackett. Uh, we'll take up the Hackett. He was a backup goalie, but he's pretty good. Played a couple years. Brett Hull. On to the base card of Brett Hull. Why not? <clears throat> wow, it's coming down to nitty gritty here. No Jagger. No Jagger. Here's my Jagger. You see? So you have all these packs and all these cards, and I only got. Didn't get much. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Mr. Jagger himself. That was funny. It's like I called it, eh? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Hey, it's hard to do this off the side. There we go. There we go. Slug onto the back of the pile. I'm not going to go through all those at the end. I'll, I'll show you up a couple. I'm going to definitely show off my skid mark Broder. Cracked a box offline, a Christmas box for my lovely wife. 1920 SB Authentic. Had to contact the uh, upper deck for that because uh, didn't get any autos at all. So she felt kind of bad. I told her, don't. I enjoy the break. I enjoy the thought. It's more of the thought than anything else. But I felt like I needed to know. It's the fan facet. I might pull those guys out after. We'll see. Like I said, I'm going to go through all this base. I'm sure I've passed a few semi-star rookies or what have you. Like I say, I'm a rookie completionist. I have tons of these already. Every once in a while, I'll do a little lots. I like to wrap this stuff up into lots and dump it on eBay or Facebook. Or oh, a bunch of wall. What about pack? You'd be happy back in the day with that pack. Couple of rookie cards, and then you got a couple of the top players at the time. Well, it is what it is. I miss these kind of days. It, card companies try to bring it back, but they just can't. And I don't think they ever will. Wayne Gretzky, Paul McKinnis, the Blaster, 
Cam Healy, one of my favorite as a kid. Used to wear number eight, just like him. Played right wing, just like him. We're getting, up. Oh, we're getting up a little late there on the time. We've got a couple more packs. We're going to wrap this up real quick. We'll just flip through this real quick. Not a Lindros. That's funny. Last box I cracked for this, I got three of them. So I'm not too worried if I don't get one. Plus about who knows how many I got in my box already from when I was a kid. So I lose count on this stuff. There's so many. Gila the Fleur. The Nordic. Jordan Gallant. Great coach. Last pack. Here we go. Maybe a Lindros in there. What do you think? Last pack. Mojo. Probably not. Gagne. Brown. Terjean. Wayne. Doucette. Adrian Pavlik. Stewie Barnes for the 15th time. John Morris. Drew Smurray. Boop. Boop. Beep, 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 and yo, Pat Elnick. So there you go, guys. So basically, my highlight, what I like the best is this Skid Mac Broder. Too bad, because it was in good shape. <laughs> I did get another one here. Quick rundown. I'll leave those for after. Quick rundown of some of the good ones. See, I did get another one. It was in good shape. No, oh, let's just stick over there. Oli the goalie, Cujo, Ronick a few times, Sundin, Oli again. There's Ronick and Mr. Yeg. I got a lot of shimmer shine on this. Gotta get rid of that, but there, like that. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and continue doing this. Uh, hopefully, everyone had a great holidays. Hopefully, everyone's gonna have a great new year. Uh, this is Rips and Hits with Jerry Cards. Thanks. Bye.